Now, Cardano continues to grow right before our eyes, but somewhat behind the scenes in a way that you know people aren't necessarily paying attention to. And I think it's important that we highlight this because this is where it begins. This is how it all starts before the next run, okay? So Cardano has now broken into the top three chains when it comes to NFTs. Now I get it, NFTs may not be your thing, okay? I don't currently own any NFTs, and I may not in the future, okay? There's there's obviously always a chance, you never know. But right now, it's important to note that Cardano is breaking out, okay? Now, before we go ahead and talk about this, if you haven't shown your support already, make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, show your support for the channel. Now, this is important to note because it's just crushing it on the NFT front. Actually, the there was a 132% jump in 24 hours of NFT volume. It now only sits behind Ethereum and Solana, which are the two largest NFT chains out there. So I have a feeling that very soon, because people are leaving Solana in, in droves, okay, because Solana is obviously it's got its own set of issues, and going towards Cardano, that it may end up flipping uh, Solana sooner than later in a very short period of time, which would then obviously make Cardano number two. Yay. <laughs> now it may not become number one in the near term, just because obviously we're, we're still sitting in a bear market. There's only so much money to go around. And at least at this point, Ethereum's issues cannot be recognized. So Ethereum, obviously, as we know, it's got a, a gas fee issue. Okay. It's got problems with its transaction costs. And we saw this at the height of the last market cycle. Okay. Now we may not see those kind of issues again arise until there's a huge load on the network. When there's then there's a bunch more people doing stuff, when Ethereum price gets higher, because yeah, obviously Ethereum is the governance token. So that's where we may end up seeing it end up pushing forward and flipping to the number one. But it's again important that you pay attention to that this stuff is going on right now. Okay, because right now there are people that you know are thinking that Cardano doesn't have anything going on, and you know the Vassal Hard Fork hasn't improved anything. But right, right here in front of us, guys, right here in front of us, we can see that it is changing the way that Cardano is operating. It is making Cardano better. This is what everyone who's been in Cardano for a long time has been waiting for. When Cardano launched in 2017, obviously it didn't have these kind of capabilities, right? It wasn't ready to do this. And good things take time. So if you've waited since since then, bravo. I applaud, I applaud you for having the resilience to wait this length of time to see these things happen. And hopefully you didn't obviously fudge yourself out of your position. Now, obviously, that being said, this is not financial advice. You can always do what you want. But just be aware that this is happening right now in, in front of us. And it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out over the next you know three to six months as we we you know, hopefully finish this bear market cycle. Obviously, we don't know when it's exactly going to end, but we should have some indicators at least over the next three to six months to, to let us know if we're done dropping or not, at least as far as price goes. So appreciate you guys stopping in. Obviously, just wanted to keep you guys informed on what's going on here. And Cardano is now a top three chain. Let's go. <laughs> but as always, if you haven't already, make sure you show your support for the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell. Stay updated and notified anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.